What's going on guys? Mark Williams from the YouTube channel, Online Certification Course. Here, check out this tutorial I put together in regards to data warehousing. Come learn the ins and outs about inventory control, what's hot, what's not, what's trending, and what's sitting on your shelf collecting dust. The links will be down in the description below. So go ahead and do your thing. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Leave some comments and let me know I'm heading in the right direction. But let's get into this intro first. Implementing a data warehouse could help a company avoid various challenges. In an era of intense competition, it isn't sufficient to just take personal decisions alone. It must be taken on time because if you run out of time, you will witness your competitors getting ahead of you in this marathon. Hey, what's going on? This is Marky Williams and welcome to my channel, Online Certification Courses. Enjoy the tutorial and the link will be down in the description below. Please make sure you like if this tutorial was informative. Subscribe so you won't miss out on any training courses you may want to pick up. Comment below as to what you would like to get certified in, and I can send you a link personally to check out. So let's get started. Let's assume that a supermarket chain has not implemented a data warehouse and eventually the supermarket find it very difficult to analyze what products are sold, what is not selling, when does the sale go up, what is the age group of customers who are buying a particular product and several other queries. There is no human being that will be up for that challenge to collect such data. That's why data warehousing is so important in companies in 2021 and going forward. Data warehousing is a strategic value given to a company. Let's take an example of procurement. Every company procures certain products from a supplier like laptops, copiers, etc. Before making a purchase, the company contacts the supplier in order to negotiate about the price and inquiring about the terms. How sure is the company about the supply agreeing to the terms of the contract? After the purchase is made, the supplier always gives an invoice. If the invoice shows that a discount hasn't been given as agreed and doesn't match the terms of the contract, then there is a problem that needs to be addressed. There was a time when fact-based decisions and experience-based decisions was much more prevalent. Moving away from that, we have entered into an area where fact-based decisions have gained importance in our lives. You have to understand there are certain questions asked to a manager or an executive and he has to answer this to get an extra edge over the competitors. These questions may not need to be run a business but are needed for the survival and growth of a business. Some of those questions are how to increase the market share of the company by 5%. Which products is not doing well in the market? What is the quality of the customer service provided and what improvements are needed? Another important factor is that data warehouse provides trends. It is a history of data from a backlog of months of whether the product has been selling in the span of those months. If that trend is spotted, it can be analyzed and a decision can be taken. An operational trend, on the other hand, is the transactional system. Some of the advantages. Standardized data across the organization. Smarter decisions for companies. Move towards fact-based decisions. Reduce costs drop products that are not doing well, increases revenue, work on high selling products. Applying data warehousing helps utilize the data available in a data warehouse. It helps executives to use the warehouse quickly and effectively. They can be gathered data, analyze it, take decisions based on the information present in the warehouse. The information gathered in the warehouse can be used in any of the following domains. Tuning production strategy. The product strategy can be fine-tuned by repositioning the product and managing the product profile by comparing the sales quarterly or yearly. Customer analyst. Customer analyst is done by analyzing the customer's buying preferences, buying time, budget cycles, and so forth. Operation analyst. Data warehousing also helps in customer relationships management and making environmental corrections. The information also allows you to analyze business operations. Many thanks for taking some time out to check out my tutorial. The link will be in the description below. Please subscribe so you won't miss out on any training certification courses you may want to pick up. As always, hit the like button if you find this tutorial informative so I can continue making more content. Comment below as to what you would like to get certified in and I can send a personal link for you to check out. Please feel free to also browse through the links. Check out the other certification courses you may want to take up. Many thanks once again. It's Marky Williams and I'm out.